Hi everyone. More than 20 years ago, two teenagers vanished, just gone. No word to their parents, friends, nothing. Their disappearance has plagued the sheriff's department for decades, but now with one simple clue, the case is cracked. News Channel 5's Levi Ismail investigates how this mystery was solved. There's always that place in town we pass without giving it much thought. We see it all the time, so it's hard to imagine we've missed anything. For as long as most remember here in Sparta, that's all anyone thought about this stretch of Highway 84. What they missed has been missed for more than 21 years. What, what happened? What could have happened to two young kids that just vanished in the night? We know there were always rumors about what happened to 18-year-old Aaron Foster and 17-year-old Jeremy Bechtel on the night of April 3rd, 2000. Foster was the perfectionist and Bechtel was the athlete, two White County High School best friends who cared about each other and their families. I called home on Monday night and uh, my wife told me that, you know, Aaron didn't come home last night. Cecil Foster told his wife not to worry about their daughter. Aaron was 18 after all and already talked about moving out, but then one night turned into another. And that's when panic sunk in. Just a nightmare, man. Just a total nightmare. Theories were all over the board by the time Steve Page was hired as a detective in 2011. He was elected sheriff in 2018, and that's when he thought maybe something was overlooked. We had other, what we thought were leads in other areas that we explored, and I was like, this just don't make sense. Still, investigators were fixated on the idea that a party on the west end of the county was somehow involved, but a newly uncovered missing persons report. She had picked up her younger brother and asked her mother if she could stay out a little while later. Gave deputies every reason to rethink this entire investigation. Based on this document, it says they were coming from their home, Aaron's home, yes. not from the party. Right. Which means all this time, detectives focused on the wrong end of the county instead of here. Whoa. That, oh, okay. That's 100% a car right in front of my face. So when YouTube investigator and cold case connoisseur Jeremy Sides just happened to take interest late last year. I told Jeremy, I said, I, I believe they went missing off of Highway 84. The Georgia native used sonar to scan bodies of water. Man, what are the chances? What are the chances? Oh no, I'm lost, I'm lost for words. Sides dove in the next day where he confirmed that this was indeed a Pontiac Grand Dam, the very same model driven by Aaron Foster the night she went missing. Of course, I'm shocked. And I'm like, really? You know? I didn't believe it till I got there. First things first, brother. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, man. We've been looking for these two kids forever. Now with a license plate in hand, Sheriff Page called dispatch. Is that, that the Fosters? OK, we found the car. Both Aaron and Jeremy's remains were found inside the car that was almost completely intact. Sheriff Page says all indications are they simply ran off the road. So after two decades, it was time to give Cecil the call he'd been waiting on. What was going through your mind when you got that call? Just a numb feeling. Cecil says he's grateful to the sheriff and all those involved in the recovery, but wonders why it took so long to bring his daughter home. Has it ever made you angry? Oh yeah, I guess I stayed angry for you know a lot of years. What do you say to those folks who say those guys dropped the ball? We're all human. We all make mistakes. Best we can do is learn from those mistakes and um, just keep moving forward. Sheriff Page has asked deputies to revisit past cases with a new perspective. He knows some things may have been missed over time, but it's his hope that departments across the country can learn from this lesson. That sometimes the answers are much closer to home than we once thought. It was a case, you know, it was near and dear to everybody's heart. It still is today. Now, Sheriff Page told us detectives are already taking a closer look at another cold case. Terry Sullivan was shot and killed in his Sparta home back in January of 2009. Page says once again, they've started at the beginning in hopes that they can track down any lead they may have missed. Rory.